prior to that, um, I I have in my notes that can you talk about I I, I skipped over this by accident. Uh, uh, you had a meeting with Jag or Hoover, correct? Yeah, I had a meeting with Jag or Hoover, and that came about when I graduated from Bryan. Mm-hmm. Everybody in the class had uh, interviews or job placements mm-hmm. with, uh, you know, with white accounting firm, firms, or, except me. Mm. And the graduation speaker at my graduation was Charles Sawyer. He was Secretary of Commerce of the United States. And Dr. Jacobs, the president of the university, arranged for me to go to Washington and Charles Sawyer had arranged for me to meet with Treasury Department people, FBI, and others. <clears throat> and I had an interview with the FBI. And at that time, I think they had about 8,000 agents. None were black. And all agents to be or upper echelon in the FBI was interviewed individually by Hoover, not by uh, human relation department or anything. He had an interview with him. And Diego Hoover interviewed me and sent me a letter stating, you know, that they had my had me on a uh, consideration and they would inform me later on. He didn't even, I don't think the letter, as I recall, even said position it is that they had me on a consideration and that I would be considered for being considered. But I never heard from him again, except for that letter and my meeting with Hoover. What, how long was that meeting and what was the engagement like? The questions, the answers and all that. How long was it? Maybe 15 minutes, it wasn't very long. It was like a, a pacification meeting. He was doing it for Charles Sawyer, the Secretary of Commerce, not because of my qualifications in accounting, which then at that time, you had to be either have an accounting degree or a law degree. And, um, and upon getting that letter, was there any other interactions between you and Jagger Hoover and FBI and no, because that's what's been that meeting and that letter. <clears throat> and I never heard from them again. And I never heard from them again. What year was this? Uh, 1950. 1950. How did you how did you maneuver or did you have to disclose that stuff because in the um how did, what? how did you did that ever become a topic of conversation when you joined the Nation of Islam with Malcolm X and um Mr. Elijah Muhammad? I huh? I told people, you know, that I had uh-huh. had been turned down by them, you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he only had, I was only being considered, mm-hmm. not because of my qualification, but Hoover's uh, friendship with 
Charles Sawyer, second, <coughs> Secretary of Commerce. Other than that, I would never been, I never would have been involved in it. Yeah, because there's some uh, dialogue in, in, in 2021 that you were an agent. So I'm just trying to give you time to, to clear that up. Uh, no, the only reason the FBI was ever associated with me because I told people okay. that I had had the interview. Yeah. I did. That was a, as of my disclosure. I disclosed that I had been interviewed by the great man Hoover himself. <laughs> I'm interested. I'm interested to know your thoughts of Jagger Hoover before going into the meeting. And what are your thoughts about Jagger Hoover as a Nation of Islam member? Well, he was <clears throat> went on meeting him. He was nothing uh, outstanding about it. He said he talked to me or asked me some questions. I don't even know what they were. And, and I realized, you know, that he was not overly interested in me or because of recommendation, but he was only doing it as a courtesy to a fellow cabinet ranking member and how did Michael Max, Elijah Muhammad, James Shabazz, how did they respond to you disclosing that you had a meeting with Jagger Hoover? That's accepted. It'll seem like seeing I bet Dr. Norman Vince Appeal because the messenger he was not apprehensive about the FBI even though they had us on the surveillance since the 30s, because, you know, he taught they were devils. So it, be, it could have been Norman Vincent Peale, who was a very prominent white preacher, or Hoover, or any other white. They were pockets on the same pants. You know, he wasn't apprehensive to say, ooh, FBI. You know? I, I, um, I'm going to steal that analogy from you moving forward. Pockets of the same pants. Yeah. I'm going to use that. <laughs> I appreciate that one. So, 